right here, I can see a pile of these potatoes and they all look spectacular. Take a look at this. Oh, just uncovering the treasure now. Guten yardening, everybody. Well, today, if you're on Team Potato, it's a great day for you because we have another potato harvest. But this time, we have two different varieties than what we've grown before. We have some russet potatoes and we have some Yukon Golds. Now, you might think growing two different varieties like that would be strange because the russets are a late season potato and the Yukon Golds are typically an early season potato. However, about a week ago, my wife came out to check on those potatoes and she pulled out a Yukon Gold that's probably the biggest Yukon Gold we've ever grown. So we'll see what comes from letting our Yukon Golds go a little bit longer as we get into this harvest. Now the biggest challenge with harvesting from these plastic containers, these food safe plastic containers, is that they're pretty large and so they get pretty heavy. But for the last couple of days, we've covered them up and now I'm just going to empty this out and see exactly what has grown in here. So what I'm gonna do is empty this out completely, which of course means you're going to get to see what comes out before I do, and I don't mind at all letting you see what's inside first. So here we go, dump it over quickly. Well, notice the holes that we've drilled in the bottom of this to allow for plenty of drainage for these potatoes. That's the last thing we want is wet feet to cause some problems with rotting. All right, here we go. Let's take a look and see. Oh, okay. Well, this is definitely our Yukon Gold variety in here. And there they are coming off the side. Let's see what kind of size we have in here. Oh, but first, take a look at the bottom. You can see the tracks where the different insects were spending time in here. That's kind of interesting. All right, here we go. Let's just break it right apart and see what's in the middle. Oh, yes. Here we go right inside here broken apart we have potatoes everywhere all right let's just pull these up these are really nice size yukon golds now i mentioned this earlier in the intro but yukon golds are typically an early season potato which means that they should be harvested or able to be harvested within 75 to 85 days but we've let these grow for a good bit longer than that to see if that would change up the results or result in bigger potatoes. But what I'm noticing here is that most of this growth is clearly not happening down in the lower part of the container. And so we have mostly, I would say, in that top three to four inches where we're getting a good many of these potatoes. But take a look at the size, take a look at the consistent shape of these potatoes. Now the two varieties of potatoes we're harvesting today, these Yukon Golds and then our Russets are typically used for pretty different things. So I'm curious what you like to use, if you grow Yukon Golds, what you like to use these potatoes for. Take a look at this, I'm digging for literal gold treasure in here, huh? All right, I'm gonna just spread this apart one thing you can see about the soilless mix that we have in here is it is really light and fluffy, so it should be easy for these potatoes to grow in. Oh, over here, off to the side, we have a fingerling potato. I almost forgot that we had dumped a few fingerlings in here that were really old. We didn't know if they would perform at all. This is one of the things that I am very pleased with so far is that average size of these. One of the things about Yukon Gold potatoes, at least in our experience, is you can steam them up whole. You can cook them up whole when they're this size. And they make for a nice average serving. One thing I should tell you about this particular container as we come back over and look at our harvest, this container was actually shaded out by one of our trees that really this year maybe tripled in size. So we had it placed in an area that seemed like it was going to get plenty of sun, but by the time it came to actually growing and developing, it was well shaded. Now, while the first container was shaded and the production was maybe not as massive as we would have liked, this one was not shaded. And this is also the one where my wife pulled out that really large potato. So we'll see if there's any difference between the two. And one thing I can show you really quickly up top here, this is another one of those fingerling potatoes 
it looks like to me, that we just put in on top to see what would happen. And it looks like this one's already sprouting. All right, let's see what the biggest Yukon gold we can pull out of here is. Oh, quick turn. I couldn't even make it the whole way over before it all tumbled out. All right, we gotta get these rocks off the bottom. This was our way of making sure, ensuring, whoa, whoa, that we had lots of draining. Well, I can already tell you these are bigger than the ones that got shaded out. I didn't even have time to get the rocks out of here. There are more in here. They are deeper in here than the other one as well. Take a look at this. Pulling right off the side. That's the whole way down almost to the bottom. So we'll see if that's consistent the whole way through. But the size is bigger than that first one. And so far, they're more plentiful. And there is absolutely no vole damage so far. Fingers crossed that it stays that way, but we've almost replicated the harvest of that first container and we're just now getting started. I've got most of the rocks out of here and this is where I can see one of our potato plants. And again, uncovering the gold right now, this is clearly one that enjoyed that extra sunlight beyond what the first container had. And this production is way up. Now this year already, we've had quite a few harvests of potatoes and, oh, there we go. And I think we've grown some pretty unique varieties this year. But I'd love to know if there's a unique variety you've tried that you'd like us to try growing next season. And if so, go ahead and leave us a comment and let us know what you think we should grow here at Guten Yardening. As I come around here, I can see, again, consistent size. One of the things with the mega chips that we just harvested from our Ruth stout bed, they were huge. They were actually bigger than this. I would say some of them were twice as big as this size of our Yukon Golds, but they were pretty, well, as I say that, we get one that's not exactly uniform. They weren't uniform. Oh, here's our seed potato from one of our other, actually, this might just be one of our other fingerlings that we can eat. Um, and so these don't have that problem. These are very much uniform in comparison. So that's something I like a lot about these Yukon Golds. All right, I'm gonna break apart the last mound here and see, there's some rocks, see what else is down in here. Okay, here we go. Remember these potatoes, other than these fingerlings, these are supposed to be a short or early season variety. And so these are potatoes that we could have grown or harvested a while ago, but we allowed them to develop a little bit longer to see what the results would be. Now we did get here a couple of these fingerling potatoes, although this one seems to be yeah, rotting a little bit, but these are just an experiment we're doing. These are old potatoes we didn't want to throw away. And so we wanted to see, could we get anything from them? Could we get any growth? And it does seem like we got a little bit in here. So not necessarily necessary to throw out your old fingerling potatoes or your old potatoes. You can try planting them and see what happens. Now we're harvesting in the rain right now, so it's the perfect time to show you something that we found on a recent trip that was also in the rain. Excuse the noise, but we're right beside a highway and I've just discovered something really cool at an agricultural center that's a little ways from our home. This is a potato digger, an old school potato digger. I really, I'm not sure how it works and I'd love to know if any of you have ever used one of these before, if you know how it works. This is super cool looking though. It appears as though there's a lever right here that controls the height. And this seems to be pulled behind probably a tractor of some sort. And then there is a dip down here at the bottom and this turns. This clearly had to have turned at some point, I think. Um, I'd love to know how it works. This is fascinating. It seems like it would make digging these potatoes a lot easier if you were in this seat. You know what I'm noticing about this one? This is our russet. The stalks on these, the stems, are actually a good bit thicker than anything from the Yukon Gold. Well, let's see what that means. You know, one thing I like a lot about potatoes is it looks like nothing's going on once they've died back. Like there's nothing there at all. And it's just right below the surface before we really get into it. All right, here we go. Our first time ever growing russet potatoes. Let's see. Whoa. Let's see what we've got in here. 
Well, it looks like the roots of the russet potato definitely went a little bit deeper. I'm gonna just pull this side back. Oh, actually here on the side, we've got one of our russets. Now you'll notice there is still somewhat of a goldish color, but this one should not be as gold. And actually when I was growing up, I didn't know these were called russet potatoes. All I ever heard was Idaho potatoes. Whenever I go to the store, I'd either get a baking potato or an Idaho potato. Now these are Burbank russet potatoes and they're supposed to be this longer, this oblong shape. And each of these, actually look at this, each of the first two that we've harvested out of here have a little potato growing on the ends. Now these are supposed to be late season potatoes, meaning 115 days plus, and that's exactly what we've given them. Oh wow. And we've got one here that is, it looks like three combined into one, but you can see here the size of these different the consistency in terms of shape for these seems to be a little bit different as well it's not exactly as uniform as our other ones but there's plenty there the size of these quite lovely now one thing i can tell you about this variety and about russets in general is there's a reason why they're commonly used as baking potatoes they get really nice and fluffy whenever you bake them up but they tend to be drier than let's say our Yukon Golds. And one other thing to note about them is that with the skin on, these are one of the best potatoes when it comes to a source of fiber from potatoes. And I've also read that the protein level in these is higher than in a lot of the other potatoes as well. Now I'm not suggesting you eat potatoes as a source of protein, but what I am saying is, well, these have a decent amount of protein in it from what I've read. Well, as I pull the top off of this side of our container, oh, there we go. I can see that, uh, you know, we still had a good three or four inches at the bottom. I think some of the bigger ones are probably a little farther toward the top. But again, still nice amount of potatoes in here. Now, as I said, this is our first time attempting to grow russet potatoes. So we weren't sure exactly what to expect from the harvest, but I do like this size. Oops. I almost pushed this one off to the side. I do like this size very much. And since we are harvesting these weeks after our early harvests of potatoes, you know, we have a different shelf life for these. We have a staggered growing season for all of our potatoes. And that is intentional for sure. Oh, there we go. This is a really nice potato coming off of here. Again, I gotta say, if we look at the pile of potatoes so far, really nice, consistent size. I mean, these are each individual servings for sure, and we've got plenty at that size. All right, I know we also put some of our old fingerling potatoes in here as well, and there we are. Again, we had a little bit of extra space at the top. Why not try it out and see if we can get anything additional? There's no problem with that at all. Trying to make maximal use of our growing space. When you have a container like this one that is about 14 or 15 inches deep, there might be the need to come and plant multiple layers or again, just to try your best to plant deeply so that you can get the most out of the depth of that container so you're not wasting any of the vertical space. Well, I thought the harvest was done, but clearly I made a mistake. I missed the whole middle section. <laughs> I don't know how that just happened. Well, that would have been disappointing, huh? Yeah, four more really nice sized potatoes. Oh, uh, and we'll add in a little baby as well. Let's see, well, I mean, if I miss that. <laughs> well, the nice thing about growing in these containers though, is as I'm loading the soil back into the container, it's easy to tell if I missed anything. You know, mid-October, zone five, all these potatoes dying back completely. You know what's still growing here? Our cucumbers. And I think that's just absolutely awesome. Now, for those of you who are on Team Sweet Potato, don't worry, we haven't forgotten about you. We're just not quite there yet when it comes time to harvest all of these sweet potatoes, but we'll be there pretty soon. But if I come down in here, I can, oh, I can feel, you see it peeking up? I can feel the sweet potatoes coming. Whoa, oh, not yet, not yet. Oh, take a look at this. Look at what we've got in here. This is a russet potato berry. 
I didn't think there were any that had actually developed on here. So we're gonna save this for sure. We got lots of varieties of potato berries this year. That's gonna be some exciting experiments this winter. Well, I am not gonna rush this potato harvest even though the rain is really starting to come down now. But again, same thing as I saw before with the last container of russets. We definitely have bigger stems on this. All right, let's get our flip here and see what this last container holds. This one had, I would say, the most sun out of all of them. Oh, and it broke apart right away. Whoa. And the first thing I see in here, a really nice russet. So let's see, you know what? I'm gonna put this over here. We'll keep our container piles separate. And I'll pull this off. It doesn't look like it has anything in it, but right below it, oh, right here, I can see a pile of these potatoes and they all look spectacular. Take a look at this. Oh, just uncovering the treasure now. Boy, I feel like I'm excavating some kind of site for bones, except these are edible. Take a look at these. That is fantastic. Beautiful size. All four of these wonderful, wonderful start to this container harvest. Look at this. Over here, the next one, and the next one, and they're all really nice. And, <laughs> this one couldn't wait for me to harvest. Sticking out at the front there, we've got probably the largest of all the potatoes so far from our russets. And there's even more down in here. Oh, and this is our seed, our seed potato right there. But you can see, again, I'm gonna go back to this because it's so important to us, not a bit of vole damage in here whatsoever. Not a bit of any kind of damage. I see a little bit of potato scab in here, but again, that's also not all that bad on here. But look at the start to this harvest. Here, I'm creating a pile right down here so you can see just the beginnings here and the size, the consistent size of these potatoes. Well, I'm thinking we probably, I mean, normally when you're keeping your potatoes for a long time and you're trying to increase that shelf life, you don't wash them off. Well, the rain's trying to do that for us right now, trying to wash them off even though, though I don't want it to. All right, here we go. Look at this, the next set right down in here. Lovely potatoes. Oh, yeah. Excellent size all the way. Perfect throughout. I think this is definitely going to be, well, I don't know. This is, this is in line to be our biggest container yet. Although our last russet container was pretty good too. All right, here we go back to where I was initially. Here's a couple more on this plant. Yeah, nice, nice just in general. But one of the things we'd like to know at this point is this, very simply, which of the potato varieties that we've harvested so far have you enjoyed seeing the most? And which one are you most likely to try? Now, growing in containers is a super easy method to do. It doesn't require a ton of maintenance, although watering is something you want to stay up on and making sure that you have enough nutrients. Now, this is new soil for us or a new soilless mix for us. And so I think in the future, we're going to do a better job of making sure we have enough nutrient content, nutrient density really in here to make sure we're getting maximum development. So that's one thing we're going to try to do to improve. Now, one other thing I haven't really mentioned yet, but this is the first time we're growing potatoes in these plastic containers. In the past, we've only grown in ground or in grow bags. So this is our attempt to see how well they do outside of that type of setting. And so far, you know, we're pretty well pleased with the results. Okay, I'm gonna uncover this one. This is gonna be, what well, feels anyway, it feels pretty dense. Let's see if we can scoop underneath here and just bring this up all at once here. I'm gonna turn it upside down and see, <laughs> well, they all came off. But let's see exactly what we've got going on here. All right, there we go. Look at those. 
yeah, we're definitely pleased with the results, especially given this is our first attempt in plastic containers. One of the primary issues we had with growing in grow bags was moisture retention. We didn't do a good enough job last year keeping those moisture levels up, and so we got some really stunted potatoes. But this year, in these plastic containers, I'm not seeing those kinds of problems. These are far better than anything we got out of those grow bags last season. All right, I think we are coming to the end of this container's harvest. Here we go, we got a couple more in here. Again, nice size, no problem with that whatsoever. Actually, these look like Yukon Golds. I think these are some Yukon Golds that we probably planted in there as well. well. It doesn't hurt to mix them up since we're harvesting at the same time. Well, there's another nice harvest for everyone, especially those of you on Team Potato. Now remember, this is our first time growing in these plastic containers and our first time growing russet potatoes. And as you see, we're pleased with the overall results. So stay tuned. We have more harvest coming your way and sweet potato harvest season is just around the corner here in Zone 5, Wisconsin. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe. And most importantly, remember when you're with us, you are good to grow.